All right, <clears throat> I'm working on the uh, 1955 Buick 322 nail head, and I'm trying to determine what type of compression ratio I'm going to end up with, um, as the aftermarket pistons are quite a bit different, significantly different looking than the originals, but they are overbore, 60 thousandths over. So I'm trying to do an at-home CC test and just try to figure out how much different they are. I've put the valves in, the spark plug in, and I've uh, filled the uh, combustion chamber with water. And I know this isn't how they would do it. Obviously, you'd need a plate and everything to do it perfect and accurately. And I'm using this syringe. But what I'm looking for is a comparison of the two pistons. Um, so for that purpose, it'll probably be accurate enough for what my, it should, you know, I'd like to see it come fairly close. So I've got, uh, uh, I got the amount there and I've got 115 cc's in the head. And I did make some molds of the pistons with some resin. Actually, those are go here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and fill these up with water, and I'll have the amount. The only thing I'm not going to know is the actual deck height, because I don't have the block, the crank, and the piston to see how far the piston comes. I do have a head gasket. I know how. I know the the, the squeeze thickness of that. Um, so we'll add this all up, and we'll see what we uh, come up with. Okay, this is the resin mold. <clears throat> off of that <clears throat> stock piston I just um, created um, and what we're going to do is we're going to do see how much uh, cc's of water um, sits in there I want to get it level reasonably got is a graduated syringe I got my soap water here I'm going to fill this up I'm going to get any air out of it I didn't get enough in it. Okay. And I want to pump out the water till I'm right at 60 cc's. Okay, there we are. And I'm going to go ahead and fill this up till it's level. This thing's a little sticky, so hopefully I can do this without making a big mess. And like I say, I'm not using any type of plexiglass plate on here. I'm just getting it as level as possible um, to give us an idea of how much cylinder or dome volume we have here. I'm just about there. I'm going to make sure I get some around these reliefs here in the valve. We're just about there. You can look at this from the side. And tell if it's above the level or not. I need a little bit more. Okay, we're right there. And I've got 30. So I, it, it's half. So I just, it's 30 cc's that this stock piston dome um, will hold. So the next thing we're going to do is um, I have a mold from an aftermarket piston. And we're going to compare that one. All right. Now this is the aftermarket piston uh, dome, um, and you can see it has very deep cut valve reliefs here. And um, what you have to do is you have to actually take the piston, and you have to put water in those valve reliefs in the piston and add that to what this is the volume is to get accurate. And I've done that. Um, prior to this so we're not going to do that but we want to see how much compared to the other one how much this will hold so we're going to go ahead and do that now we're going to go ahead and fill this up whoops don't want to lose any here be accurate it's very difficult for some reason to get this thing to come out smoothly trying to do it 
going to do a really good job of it, but I'm just about there. Okay. If you can see, it's at the 35 mark, but that's not how much I put in, because remember, it starts at 60. So I'm actually about 25. So I lost five cc's combustion chamber and later when I show you the chart you're going to see how much compression ratio that is. Now remember I have to add what that volume is and I think it was pretty small. I think it was only like not even quite uh, one cc so it's not going to be that but we're going to go by the 30 and 25 um, just to be a, on the fair side. Um, but that's this is stuff you can do at home and you can be absolutely sure that you're getting the right compression ratio that you want. Not what somebody tells you you're going to get, but what you want and what needs to be in that car to make it right. So this is kind of just a sample. Now, if you're going to do a lot of this stuff, I would recommend getting a, something a little better than this. Possibly using alcohol like they do and getting a, a plate, especially for the cylinder head. And then um, we got to check that next. Okay, this is our compression uh, ratio chart. And um, you enter your, if you want inches or millimeters, bore size, piston stroke length, head gasket bore diameter, head gasket thickness compressed, combustion chamber volume in cc's, dome volume in cc's and then I enter piston deck clearance that's how far up the piston comes to the deck or the top of the block um, whether it's negative or positive and then down here at the bottom it'll tell you how much compression ratio you have right there 8.396 okay so let's play around with some numbers. That's with the 60 thousandths over bore. Let's put it back in at uh, standard bore and calculate it. See what we get. 8.196. So that's with the small bore or the um, small, the newer small dome heights. So let's put in the correct dome height. CC is 40, that'd be stock piston. Let's see what we got. 9.0788. So that makes a big difference there. Um, so basically what we're seeing here is that the aftermarket pistons they're not up to snuff. They're not giving what you want. Um, so if you want to compromise, use them. If not, have some custom ones made and be happy.